The first tools that a person learns to use is their hands. One of the first things that a person learns to do is to pick things up. When you're learning to pick things up, you aim for the palm of your hand so that you can close your fingers around something and squeeze it. Maybe it'll even make a noise. In this case, the palm of your hand is the tool center point. When you get a little older, you learn to use your fingers to point, and your index finger becomes the tool center point to tell people what you want or to direct a person's attention to your point of interest. At some point in your development, you learn to move your hands to move the tool center point of simple tools so that their tool center point becomes an extension of your own hand. We learn to subconsciously make dozens of calculations and move as many joints as it takes to do those things. When a robot first comes into the world, its tool center point is the faceplate of the robot, the rotating disc at the end of joint six. When the robot is commissioned for work, the geometry of the mounted tool is added to the faceplate so that the end effector's tool center point is now an extension of the robot. The idea of a tool center point can seem like a strange abstract thing, but after you realize you've literally been working with them your entire life, the idea becomes as familiar as the palm of your hand.